Hi guys. Okay, it's letter T word time. Time starts with T too, doesn't it? Let's practice the T sound for a moment. Ready? T. T. Good job. All right, we're going to be talking about T words in just a moment. I'd first like to go through some of your work with T things the other night, last night, yesterday, did you play tic-tac-toe three in a row? Yes, good job. Did you win any three in a rows? Maybe a few? Maybe someone else that you played with won a few too? Did you t take turns? And were you a good sport when you lost? I hope so. When I used to play tic-tac-toe, oh boy, I think I ended up with more games that were a tie. <laughs> no, there was no winner. So I hope you had fun with tic-tac-toe three in a row. All righty, our other page. Oh boy, did I have to do some looking up. There are a total of 12. I don't think I wrote 12 in the box. I didn't find all 12, I found nine, but I'm gonna show you all the 12 things. Maybe you had a, an older person help you. Maybe you found three or four and you put three or four and that's fine too. There are so many new vocabulary words of that begin with T that I was just totally amazed. So let's start with at the top, okay. Wanna say it with me? Turkey, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Turtle. Good job. And um, I found out this over here is thistle, so T-H, and this here was is thrift, a type of plant. Okay, now moving down. I forgot to color this one, but a toucan. Did you get a toucan? Probably a lot of you got that one. Now, this one, the tapir, T-A-P-I-R, that's a mammal that you find in, in South Africa and um, I think even in Asia. And this is a trigger fish, trigger fish. And we have a tulip. And I bet you guys got these in here, tadpoles, there's two. And tomato. And this one right here is a trilobite, and that's actually from the prehistoric days. It's an arthropod that was only alive. Let's see if I can find my picture during uh, the dinosaur times. There it is. Isn't that interesting? So that's a fossil, a fossil of a trilobite. Okay. So, 12 things, my friends, and um, good job if you could find just even a few. Maybe you just found four or five. That's fine, too. But if you went to all the work to try to name maybe every single one, wow, good for you. Good job. Now, let's take a look at our T container and see what we have inside. We have uppercase T and lowercase T. Mm. Okay. Hello, Mr. Turkey. Okay. This animal is a mammal, does not live in Africa. What is it? Some people think that this animal lives in Africa, but it doesn't. It's in Asia. India. Tiger. Good job. Okay. How about this one? You got it. Turtle. And since it has fins, it its feet and not claws. It's actually a sea turtle. It swims, right? Okay, and then this one. Good job, tree. And this is a slice of a... Good job, big beefy tomato. Luckily, that's not real. And this one, when we put T and H together, talked about this yesterday. What sound do we get? T, H. Can you put your tongue with your teeth like this together? That's the sound, T and H. So this is a three, number three. 
TH. Okay, beautiful. So be looking around your house for T items. You're gonna be showing your T items on thir Thursday. That's TH uh, for the PM class and teacher Christine, teacher Carrie, and then on Friday with teacher Melissa, teacher Christy, and teacher O. So don't forget to find your favorite T items. If you have one or two, that's just fine to share. All righty. So let's look at our first word here. We have the T sound. So T says T. 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 And right here, you can make a capital T because the only part of that word we have is ertl. So that's the missing letter. Starting at the top, the long line, jump frog to the top, and little line. There you go. Okay, turtle. And then you can cut out your pictures. Let's look at all these T words. I found some index cards and I just made a cover for my T book. So the first one, the first word is good job. And the second word is, you might want to say phone, but this is a telephone. Some of you might not even have these at your house. You might only have cell phones. When I was a little girl, we always had a telephone and no cell phones. Okay, next one, train. Choo choo is not on there, just t train. Good. Your turn. What instrument is that? Three syllables. Okay, I heard it. Tambourine. Good job, guys. Okay, a three wheeled bike is called a tricycle. Good job. Let's see what other T words we have in here. We know a two-wheeled bike, uh, bike is called a bicycle. Two means bi, tri means three. Two, bi means two, tri means three. Okay, what animal? Good, you got it, tiger. Okay, what reptile? Good. Very good, you guys are doing really well at this. And what do you do two or three times a day? You use a brush excellent all righty my friends if you like to color your books color your tea items then you can use this to help practice tea words okie dokie now the next thing i had for you was some extra um work making a little tea book but i accidentally put an s page in there and that was pretty silly teacher shelley should not have done that so you have a T story called Two Turtles, and so it's missing the four pages. But the first four, if you want to cut it and put it together, says Two Turtles at Play. And the second page, they play with a, it's a T item. Let me hear you. Good, top. And the last page, they have t tons of what? Look at the picture for a clue. Toys, you've got it. All right, good job, my friends. That's some extra work if you'd like to do that. And it is time now to time our letter sounds. So I'll say the letter, you do the sound. You may need to use your fingers or your mouth or your face or your body, such as V for v v vibrate. So, are we ready? Should we t -t -t time it today, my friends? Time it. Let me find my stopwatch. Okay. On your marks. Get set. And go. Okay. T says. J says. Good. P says. I says, A says, L says, K says, R says, O says, S says, D says, W says, B says, H says, 
B says. U says. M says. Q says. That's a tough one. Good job, guys. N says. Whoopsie. G says. You can do two of them. Go ahead, Jess. X says. E says. F says. C says. And of my the hardest one for me. Y says. And stop. Boop. One minute, 17 seconds. Give yourselves a round of applause. Good job, guys. Alrighty, my friends. Before we go, I have another little book that you can put together called The Turnip, and it's kind of a famous tale from Russia. And I have a cute tape of it too, trying to pull the turnip out, kind of like the um, pumpkin that was on the vine. Do you remember when the witch was trying to pull the pumpkin on the vine and it wouldn't come and she had all those friends help her, the mummy and the vampire. And what animal, what mammal helped in the end pull that um, pumpkin out, do you remember? Yeah, you got it. it, was a bat. So this one is a, is a little mammal and it ends up helping. Who knows how um, everyone pulled that turnip out. So you can put that storybook together too. And before we go for letter T, uh, there's a little song about um, teddy bear. So stand up and I want you to sing with me. T Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, stand tall now. Teddy bear, teddy bear, take a bow. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your nose. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your shoes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, I love you. You dooby doo doo. That's it for letter T words, my friends. Now is French. So if you want to take a break and go and play and make your own choice time, you can do that now and then come back for French. And then we are going to talk about Pooh's Wells and Bonine Wells. And I'm going to read you a really wonderful story called Humphrey. The Lost Whale. Humphrey is a humpback whale. Alrighty, guys, two more videos. I'll see you after French. Je t'aime.